an old guy called Alfie Howard who is quite well known in the cob building world in these parts. He was probably the first person in this part of the world to begin the cob revival. Nineteen thirty-six, they got a church wall, and over the years, the weather had the weather had, had uh, put paint down. He come down, and they insisted that he had to be put back as he was before, because he was listed. My father got a building business then and they got hold of my father to do it and he got my oldest brother and me up for doing it and he taught us how to do it because he'd learned it from his father that would be my grandpa and, and that's how it's come to starting Cobb that was in 1936. Well it's the simplest thing of all you'd be surprised what you can put up in a day it really is. Well, see, that's all the age years ago, wasn't it? But treading cob, when it's got any big job on, I usually have a little mega pen and put two little bullocks in there and get somebody to keep them walking, see, and they tread the cob. different and quite a sobering experience coming back here and working on that project because a very different for, for, for a start the method is different you use a pitchfork so you really here don't you really don't get your hands in it and it's a very different kind of I would say in the States it's in the way that we were taught it's that very sort of tactile touchy-feely you know you put like all sensual. your heart and your soul into it Whereas we came here and it felt like we were on a sort of a conventional building site really, but just the material was different. So the approach was still quite conventional mm. and conservative. It was just a different material. But I come from this history of tradition instead of from a new wave of a new movement. Let's use this as an eco-material. <laughs> So we're literally, with a pitchfork, taking big scoops from the pile and placing it onto the wall and positioning it, scooping it, positioning it. So we're not actually using our hands, we're actually using a utensil, a tool, to actually pick it up and do that. We find that it's much quicker but you don't have the same interaction that you normally would, you know, with actually picking up with your hands and mixing it by your feet. You know, it's, it's a different connection that you have with the material. Yeah, I mean, I use a JCB now. I've only recently got, I've been building in Cold, but I don't know, 15 years or so, and I only got the JCB two years ago. Uh, mind you, I'd never look back. It's a perfect tool if you've got the site where you've got accessibility for that kind of size of machine, you know. It just takes all the laborious mixing out of it, and you can still be very creative with it, but you know, just get a heck of a lot more done. Well, this whole structure has 
been designed by an engineer, or at least, you know, I might have designed it, but he's checked it all, he's designed all the beam sizes, he's designed the roof structure itself. I mean, basically, Cobb is incredibly strong, compressively. In terms of, say, a concrete block, it's about a third as strong as a standard concrete block. It's at least one newton per square millimetre in terms of compressive mm -hmm. strength. Considering you generally tend to build quite wide walls anyway in a building which needs to be well insulated, so you can spread the load, any point loads, over a bigger area. It's really not an issue whether it's structurally up to it. I mean, it's easily structurally up to it. The sites are very expensive in this part of the world. So you kind of have to make the most of a site to make it economically viable. I mean, this house here, you know, you're a million pound house. They're very valuable properties in this part of the world, really. We're not looking at cheap housing here, it's, it's high quality end of the market. I come at it because I think it's just a great material to use, you know, and a more satisfying way to build, and something I can feel happy with to leave behind, you know. But I also think it's quite important to be part of the mainstream and bring it in, because it's taken more seriously by everybody then. working away doing very simple building techniques and you know, somehow I got this award from the Queen and she invited us to come to Buckingham Palace and so we spent the evening at Buckingham Palace. She just said that she was very interested in what we're doing and reviving traditional skills and traditional crafts. And people who are dealing with hierarchy and people who are in governmental system and building system you know, they do sort of perk up a bit if they know that, that we're dealing yeah. with those sort of people. You know, they'll, they'll take it a bit more seriously, especially when it comes to building codes and things like that. <laughs>